What's up, guys? Today we're here at JRP Performance. You know, we have Fang's car. It's getting wrapped up. We got Sam's car. We got Armin. How's it going, Armin? What's, good? What's up, guys? And we got Ronnie. What's, What's up, doggy? So, we're going to be talking about our slaughter packages today. Essentially, this engine and this engine are me and Jeffrey's motors that are going to go together. So we're gonna just give you guys some details in case somebody's interested in a drag motor. So the street packages that we offer is basically the Savage package. We only have one package for the Evo 8, eight and 9 uh, at this point. And we, we rate them for a thousand horsepower with proper tuning and fuel. Uh, essentially, a lot of people run them a little bit lower than that because if you're trying to go kill mode, then there's a few other precautions that you gotta take that we're gonna be talking about in this video today. So uh, first thing I wanna note is that this these engines both these engines actually are o-ring so they have a stainless steel o-ring that's protruded uh it's our propri proprietary protrusion it's not too much basically it's it's so it can work with an mls head gasket uh we're using a comedic mls head gasket that's for 53 thousandths thick when it's compressed um it is a little thicker than the evo 9 head gasket uh, the reason we're doing that is because we are using aluminum rods in both motors. Uh, now, while these rods do, basically these pistons do accommodate for aluminum rod stretch, we still want to have that little, you know, basically wiggle room so you don't run into piston to valve contact. Both these motors, when they're getting assembled, they're going to get clayed essentially. So we're going to check piston to valve clearance to make sure that, um, you know, for a fact, we do not have any piston to valve contact when they're in operation. But yeah, anyway, uh, stainless steel O-rings, minor protrusion, not too much. Uh, they're both at 5RA smoothness on the block. The heads are essentially the same thing, but we still haven't gotten our heads back. Uh, they're both tapped and drill drilled and tapped for half inch head studs. I'm going to be using the boost and performance, uh, you know, the Demon spec 1200 horsepower. The L19 is essentially their half inch head studs. Jeffrey's using the 2000 grade head studs. Uh, they are still half inch head studs so both these blocks are half inch head studs uh this block over here is basically what you will be receiving if you basically get a slaughter package from us it's a half filled block so essentially the cylinders get filled with concrete halfway and the coolant ports it's not a full fill so you can still drive it on the street as you can see here the water pump can still flow perfectly uh, get the water in and out of the block essentially and not have any cooling issues um, and if you guys look over here at Jeffrey's block, it's a full fill. If you look over here, it's completely covered over here. This hole is completely covered, this hole is completely covered. And if you look at the top of the block, it's completely covered with concrete. So a block like this essentially will not make a good daily driver. Um, essentially on Jeffrey's car, what we need to do is we need to put a very good oil cooler on there um, and uh, have a fan on the oil cooler and have a predetermined you know, temperature that the oil cooler fan kicks on when he's driving, you know, around, when he's not racing, he's just driving at the cars and coffee and whatnot, because this car is going to be driven uh, on the road. Um, so essentially you want to do that because the only cooling component will be the actual lubricant that's inside the motor, which is the oil. So you don't, you don't have the, essentially you don't have coolant in the block, but you do need to realize that uh, the oil does essentially the same amount of work that coolant does. So we need to basically make sure that the oil is well, cooled down um, and uh, you know basically it can provide the uh, cooling needs so you know the piston doesn't expand too much or the block doesn't basically uh, everything basically works out perfect you don't want to have you know a piston that's basically getting scuffed in the cylinder because of the uh, lack of cooling um, so aside from that, like I said, we are using a Cometic head gasket for this uh, 53,000 thick. Uh, these Cometic head gaskets are ordered directly from Boost and Performance. They are already tapped and basically drilled for half inch head studs. Let's just move on to the pistons and rods real quick. I don't want to make this a long video. I just want to give you guys a little preview because this is, uh, you guys are going to get to see all these, both these motors assembled from scratch basically. So Jeffrey's running the Magnus Motorsport spec r, &R aluminum rods. These are at 480 grams with the bolts in them. So they're super, super light aluminum rods. Uh, the STM Motorsport spec, basically STM tune spec, uh, 11 5 to 1 compression manly pistons that have been WPC treated. As you can see, it has that 
you know, cool texture over here. This basically doesn't uh, re retain a lot of oil, so you lose a lot of uh, basically parasitic draw on the engine. Uh, it is a standard rod length, so it's a 150 millimeter rod. Uh, we're using 250 thou 9310 alloy uh, pins. And then if you move on over here, we have our JRP spec 156 millimeter uh, long rod pistons that are made by uh, Diamond. And we are, if you look at this, it's, to, it's a 225 thou thick uh, pin, but it is made out of tool steel. So this, this pin will basically be stronger than this pin essentially because it's made out of etch thirteen tool steel. We are using the Vader uh, FFWD connecting rods. Uh, they're again aluminum. They are a little bit. They're about forty grams heavier than the R and Rs. Um, and if you look over here, we do have an extra ring, which is the basically oil rail support ring that goes on the bottom of the oil control rings because it is a long rod motor, so the wrist pin is moved up a little bit more. Um, so you guys are going to get to see these motors get assembled fully by us over here. We just wanted to give you guys a, a little preview. Uh, there are 20 over pistons, both of them. Uh, Jeffrey's going to be on a dry sump, I'm going to be on a stock oil pump, and both of these cars are basically going to make an excess of a thousand horsepower in Mustang Dino. That's the goal at least, so we'll see you guys soon.